Hello. So first off, Louie, you have to tell everybody, um, why is there no captain? Like, how are we doing this? Well, so it's got an autopilot, and for the most part, it's keeping us in the, straight, in the right direction. This is a new autopilot. Well, actually, it's a new nav system. New nav system, old autopilot, but they've, they've interfaced and they talk to each other, and it's, as of right now, working. So this may not be legal, but it is safe. Let's, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, Sarah's. Sarah's looking forward. <laughs> All right, so... Tell all the viewers a little bit about how you became a captain of this vessel, when you got it, and what that's been like. So bought it uh, in September of last year. Uh, had owned some smaller boats, center console, 37 foot last. We had been on it for about a year and a half, enjoying the ocean, but realizing in a, a small cabin it's more like camping when you spend two or three nights. And had an opportunity by selling a business um, and selling that boat to look to see if something more comfortable. And I always like catamarans because of the width. Uh, you get a lot of space, but also you get a lot of stability and um, stays fairly flat. And so, so, so by catamaran, it's got two holes versus one. Correct. And a big open center section. And uh, you can't tell it right smooth because we're dead into some, I think, eastern blowing straight in wind right now. Yeah, we're, we're, head, we're heading straight into three, uh, three four footers, I'd say. Yeah, which is the worst way we can get into, into the waves. It but, makes it pound a little bit. But we're going direct because you're efficient. Something so we're, like we're eating them up right up the right up the nose. So tell us a little bit about Blue Jeans and what she is. Yeah, so it's built in 2004. It was a custom build. Uh, the, the designer, his name is Ted Hood, a uh, fairly well-known sailboat guy, passed away recently, an older guy. This was one of the boats he designed near the end of his uh, career. Um, a lot there was two, there was a sister ship made as well, same time. This was the first. Number two was built second. Uh, owned by I think four different people over the years. I bought it from a guy that, that uh, the owner was in Italy. He had a captain, full-time captain and wife that stayed on it for five years while he owned it. So he'd fly over, the captain would have it normally in the Bahamas, and he'd play on it for a few weeks. Um, the captain took pretty good care of it. Uh, COVID happened, the Italy, Italy guy had a hard time getting over here to play with it and decided it time to pass it on to somebody else. Good for you, because it's exactly what y'all wanted. And it turned out to be, it's. It, of course, you get into something like this, and it's, there's more to it than you realize, of course. Um, <laughs> even even than we thought we yeah. we would realize. Every time you think you've got it all figured out, this morning we start our trip, and then <laughs> heard a pretty loud crash, and uh, I assume you'll see some tidbits from that. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't want the 50 to fall off. That battery's wide, too. So we're gonna have to put her in the frame. Ready? Yep, go ahead. One, two, three, go. Okay. I guess I'll go to him. Quite, everything's fairly safe. Quite the ordeal as usual. <laughs> um, Nothing easy. So Ashley, this is your second crossing from, let's just say, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm area to the Bahamas, correct? Yes. And this is the third boat you've done it on? Uh, yeah. True story. Yeah. So this is quite the upgrade from Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> a little bit more comfortable. Um, today it's just a lot better weather. The last time we did it, and a 37 foot center console yeah. doing six miles an hour the whole way. And so, the boat would do 60. Sarah has a story similar to that, right, Sarah? It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible, except for we did it at, starting at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, and back to like five, five, 5 in the morning. Oh Panama cool. City to Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores yeah. yeah, that was. Uh, that was you start to learn respect very quickly. There's nobody out there. Couldn't see land. It was, it was bad. It moves you around. So this has been as eventful as some of the other trips. Ashley may not have known it at first, but the other trips weren't exactly smooth either. So in, in retrospect, this is the smoothest trip so far. Yes, I would think that. <laughs> Which is, Even with the little shenanigans. And, and, the, and the props and everything else. Yeah. It's, now the maintenance side of it, honestly, and Joe was a huge help, unbelievable. Wouldn't have done it without him. Uh, but that was, we ended up getting ourselves into a little bit of a 
uh, a pickle in terms of timing. Uh, we were about to be stuck on dirt for four extra days, and we didn't have four extra days to have. So we, uh, we, we, had, work. we had a lot of uh, good fortune on that. Yeah. Well, I had some good help. Literally. That's how we do it. We always beat our uh, our mark. We work better under pressure. I guess. With a big hammer. It works. Uh, there was a minute that I had no, I saw no path forward, but it, it worked. I told you don't stress. I just have some bad news. <laughs> we'll throw that clip in. And now i got to go to the machine shop. So we're halfway across, so there's no land in sight. We're about 40-ish miles across. Yeah, actually, I think, yeah, we're 40-ish. I'd say we, so we, got, we got 36 to go. So, we get... so, yeah, we've done almost exactly 40 miles, really. Yeah. Just a hair over 40. And what, where are we going to, where are we aiming for? What part we're, of the Bahamas? We're hitting Freeport, which is the, the um, capital of the Bahamas. Uh, it used to be, I think, a, a, a lot of activity in Freeport. It's, I think it come down a lot. So this is mainly just to get us in the Bahamas. We're going to fly home. Go back in a couple weeks and move it to the real destination, which is Spanish Wells. And that's going to be the play trip. So we've done all the hard work. That's going to be the one you get to relax. And then it stays there for hopefully six months. And we fly across, you know, once a month and play for about a week. Hey, Thomas, the generator, it's on. <laughs> it's actually not on, but. Yeah, we got a, we have, we have an inverter now, so we've upgraded everything. So I've got we don't a, even have to have the generator. No, we got power and we have no generator. So it's, and the weather's nice. We have the. Uh, these vents on top opened up, which gives a lot of breeze to the cabin. Yeah, the side windows. Side windows. So it's actually not stuffy at all. I mean, it's yeah, just... A lot of air moving. A lot of air moving. It's hot air, but a lot of, a lot of breezy yeah. air moving. We're doing almost 11 miles an hour right now. So you've equipped the boat with some new stuff lately. And one of the great things for me, but the least of the upgrades, is some hookah snorkel equipment. Yes, sir. So we got a full scuba set, including a compressor that we can scuba tanks for. Yep. But then also this hookah system that two people, you hook it to a battery and it's breathable air with a hundred foot line and two of them. So off the dinghy, off the boat, well, if the dinghy that, runs. Yeah, yeah. Maybe paddle. Maybe, Maybe off the kayak. <laughs> Thank God we had the kayak. That's a new addition. Yeah, the kayak came in handy. Uh, I kind of jumped off the boat without really thinking about... Um, yeah, he didn't have anything. Yeah. Well, I, I, I never think far ahead. Yeah. He's got his hands and his feet. Which works. I can tread water. Yeah. So when we get to Freeport, we might do some lobstering. Is that kind of maybe? Yeah, so, so Joe's found us some toys that go grab things and coat things. And so hopefully we go get us some, some dinner. And our fishing permit is included in our sailing, boating kind of permit. Is that yep, correct? that's correct. Which also requires a COVID vaccine or a COVID test. Which we have. Which we, we in have. A, in a sense, we have. We have. In a sense. We have. Yeah. I've done it. So don't have results. the results are supposed to come back in two hours, and as of this morning, twenty-four hour mark right now, and no results. But we, we don't have service, so we can't. Yes, yeah, so we'll find out when we get across if I have results. All right, so we're gonna show them some of your fabrication work on your snorkel tanks. Walk through the boat, look at some systems. Anything else you want to say about your adventures, Ashley? Your amazing, like uh, first mate and boating adventurous. And you get to work from the boat some, right? I do. So you do. you normally work from home? Yeah, uh, since COVID we've been remote, and so I get to come and do my conference calls here. The last trip you were gone all day. I thought it was going to be like a little chamois work from home. It was like she was gone. Yeah, she I like, didn't even eat. It's a real thing. Yeah, she works more on the boat than she does home. So this trip's vacation for you because you don't have to work. Yes, uh, we they won't let us work from the Bahamas. So. Yeah. Hard cyber security wall there. Got it. And Louie, you cannot work from the boat. I mean, a couple phone calls. Yeah, it's but phone calls. It's, and we don't have phones now, so you're right. you're like me. Yeah. You're just We're hoping making, it works. Yeah. I'll make some phone calls when we get over there. Okay. Sure. Should, be, should be fine. The guys can normally handle it. Right? Well, thank you for letting us tag along. We've done lots of boating trips together. We've done nuts and bolts in Daytona, which was an adventure. You've done nuts and bolts to uh, the Bahamas. Intrepid to Bahamas, Intrepid to the Tortugas. We did, uh, was that Orange Beach? No, we were in Panama City. Panama City. Oh, yeah, we did some yeah. dolphin looking. Yeah, we did some dolphin watch in Panama City. Yeah. We've done lots of Chattanooga River runs over the years. That's how we met. We met on boats in the lock. That's a whole other story. And let's see what else have we done. We've done, uh... We got married on this boat? Oh, yeah, y'all got married right Joe back there. was actually the, dri the boat driver while we were... Not, not captain status. You hear that? The driver. I was the driver while the captain was distracted. Yeah, like second mate captain. He, he never gives up that captain title. Everybody that travels with Louie knows. Oh. There is only one chair here. That is oh, Louie's chair. Oh, 
sit there. I sat in it earlier. Yeah. It's on video. It's okay. I don't mind. Sarah, what do you think about all this? It's been an adventure, hasn't it? It's beautiful. Boats relaxing. Four big staterooms. Well, two staterooms, two bunk rooms. Yeah, yeah. There's two. Two of them have kings. Two of them have twins. Two twins in each one. Four baths and a half bath. Yeah, four full baths, one half bath. Pretty good kitchen. Yeah. Big fridge. Yeah. Got, we, holds a lot of beer if you wanted to. It holds a lot of beer. We have a secondary beer fridge. Yeah. Hide now there. So. Twenty four volt. Twenty four volt. All right, guys. So that's uh, ten minutes of us talking about the boat. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll break this up. And uh, thanks for watching as usual. And uh, comment your questions and what you liked about the trip below. Let these guys know what they're doing right. And then uh, give Louis some rigging advice for his dinghy. Because yeah. uh, he's about to have to re-rig the dinghy. This isn't happening again. It's already in his head. I can I can see the sketchbook doing its engineering thing. I just got to bring some of the Bahamas next time. So I got to bring <laughs> the right stuff. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Smash that like button. <laughs>